NVIDIA DLSS 2.0, a major update to the AI-powered deep learning super sampling technology was discussed in a recent NVIDIA press briefing, but what is it? Well, first off, the improved AI network is now using tensor cores in a more efficient way, which makes it much faster. Well, about twice as fast, in fact. The performance trade-off of DLSS 1.0 at low resolutions wasn't good, but the DLSS 2.0 network makes it a lot more viable across a wide range of GPUs and resolutions. Secondly, the first-generation DLSS targeted a 2x boost in pixels. Now, DLSS 2.0 can go up to 4x, effectively delivering a reconstructed 4K image of a base 1080p image. It also benefits from temporal feedback, accumulating data over time, and using multiple frames and motion vectors to generate the output frame. This results in a higher quality image as the network itself is more data that it temporarily processes. It also allows for higher scaling, arguably the most interesting feature is the latter, though as the new fully synthetic training set won't require to be trained specifically for each game implementing DLSS. Not only is that going to translate to a much faster adoption among developers, but it also is important because of a lot of games are not deterministic, meaning that two runs of an identical scene aren't exactly the same. This meant some of the generated frames weren't actually valid for training purposes, making it harder to get valid training data for DLSS. Now, alongside the DLSS 2.0 architectural improvements, Nvidia also confirmed two new games that are getting features in addition to Wolfenstein Youngblood and Deliver Us to the Moon, who already use the latest DLSS version. Control, where Remedy is updating the entire game from DLSS 1.x, which was more of a temporal-based reconstruction than DLSS, to the new 2.0 version. And MechWarrior 5, for which is getting DLSS for the first time. Now, MechWarrior 5 is an Unreal Engine 4 game, and NVIDIA unveiled that that's now DLSS 2.0 is part of UE4 branch, available for game developers, which should make it even easier for integration. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description, and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.